Dear students, now we are going to discuss the comparison of photo detectors in detail. Let's start with the basics of photo detector. It is the key element in the front end of an optical receiver in optical communication system. It is an optoelectronic device which converts the received optical signal into an electrical signal in the receiver side for further processing. Okay. There are different types of photo detectors available. Pyroelectric detector, semiconductor based photo detectors like photoconductors, phototransistors and photodiodes. Here the semiconductor photodiodes are widely used in optical fiber communication system. Examples are pin photodiodes, avalanche photodiodes. Okay. The major advantages of photodiodes are given here small size, high sensitivity, fast response time, low cost and good performance. Okay. Next, the comparison of pin photodiode and avalanche photodiode. Avalanche photodiode is simply called as APD. Okay. This is the structure of pin photodiode. This is the structure of avalanche photodiode. It is the three layer electronic device. It has P layer intrinsic layer and n-type layer. Avalanche photo detector is a four layer diode. It has n layer, p layer, intrinsic layer and p plus type. Okay. So that is highly positive. Okay. Here the pin diode is based on photoconductive operating mode. Here APD is based on avalanche breakdown mode. Okay. It requires low reverse bias in the range from 5 to 10 volt here high reverse bias voltage is required that is from 20 to 100 volt okay so here it is less sensitive device it is more sensitive it is simple circuit it is more complex circuit it has poor signal to noise ratio it has better signal to noise ratio when compared with this pin photodiode it is a low cost device it is expensive one the conversion efficiency is low that is from 0.5 to 1 amps per watt. Here its range is higher than this pin photodiode. Its range is 0.5 to 100 amps per watt. Okay. So here the quantum efficiency is moderate one but here its value is very high approximately equal to 100 percentage. Okay. In general photodiodes are made up of Semiconductor materials like silicon, germanium or indium gallium arsenide. So based on the semiconductor materials, the pin photodiodes are having different characteristics. So we are going to discuss the characteristics of silicon, germanium and indium gallium arsenide pin photodiodes here. So based on the parameters like wavelength, its symbol is lambda. Here the unit is nanometer. Okay. For silicon its value is 400 to 1100, for germanium 800 to 1650 nanometer, for indium gallium arsenide its value is 1100 to 1700 nanometer. Similarly the bias voltage is 5 volt for silicon, 5 to 10 volt for germanium, 5 volt for this indium gallium arsenide. Here the dark current is in nano amps its value is 1 to 10, here it is 50 to 500. But for this indium gallium arsenide, its value is very low. That is 0.5 to 2. Okay. Then the responsivity is given as 0.4 to 0.6 for silicon, 0.4 to 0.5. Here its value is 0.75 to 0.95, which provides high responsivity. That is indium gallium arsenide pin photodiode. Similarly, we are having rise time and bandwidth. Here the bandwidth in gigahertz, its value is 0.3 to 0.7 for the silicon, 0.5 to 3 gigahertz for germanium. But for this indium gallium arsenide, its value is 1 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz. Okay. Similarly, we can compare the characteristics of avalanche photodiodes using silicon, germanium and indium gallium arsenide. Here the bias voltage for silicon APD is 150 to 400 volt. For germanium, its value is 20 to 40. For indium gallium arsenide, 20 to 30. The wavelength 
in nanometer for silicon it stands from 400 to 1100 for germanium 800 to 1650 for indium gallium arsenate 1100 to 1700 the gain bandwidth product is in terms of gigahertz its value is 100 to 400 2 to 10 for germanium 20 to 250 for indium gallium arsenide. The rise time is in nanoseconds. Here 0.1 to 2. Here it is 0.5 to 0.8. For indium gallium arsenide 0.1 to 0.5. Okay. Then the avalanche gain is 20 to 400. Here 50 to 200. 10 to 40. The current range is 0.1 to 1. 50 to 500. 10 to 50. So this Silicon is widely used for short distance communication. Here it is only for short distance. Indium gallium arsenide is used for longer link. Okay. Then the cost is silicon is a low cost material. Germanium is also a low cost material. But indium gallium arsenide is little bit expensive. Okay.